hello everyone this is your online, online assignment tutor in this video we want to look at this question uh the question is on the physics uh, mechanics a student uh, brought it to me and i want to solve it look at the question the question said find the tension t1 and t2 in the figure below and find the acceleration of the system so if you look at the system of this uh, of this um, bodies you discover that the direction of the motion will be in this world in this direction that is the direction of the acceleration now for the six kilogram for the six kilogram you have a backward tension t1 for the three kilogram you have a forward tension t2 so um another thing you have to know again is that uh, is that the object will move in this direction and also the resolution force bringing down six kilogram here we, we have six g six g is assumed due to gravity you have six g sine 30 because the angle here is 30 for this one coming down here we have 3g sine 30 of course the object has a reaction here a reaction of course the reaction the reaction is supposed to be equal to the weight but in case of the inclined plane the reaction will be equal to the resolution of the of the mass vertically you have if it was an horizontal plane the reaction will be because of the weight but in case it, because of this this object is inclined the reaction is equal to the what to the resolution component of the what of the weight of three kilograms so what you have here is what is 30 degrees alternate angles your mathematics so you have 3g cos 30 for this one the reaction um that if you have what 6g cos 30 but anyway we don't need this um um component weight here what we need is the forces along acting along the motion of the object force of all let's find the acceleration from newton's second law we are going to this so in the second law as a mathematical statement we say f net is equal to total mass mt that is total mass times what acceleration so the our acceleration will now be what f, f net force that is f net over what total mass this is actually essential this is newton's second law so the f net is the what is the net total net weight force total net weight force of the what of the object total net weight force acting along the motion is which is pulling down this uh, object here you see the sine 30 that is component with component weight force along uh six kilogram you are cg sine 30 then the one pulling it downward for 3 kilograms is 3g sine 30 minus 3g sine 30 over total mass is 6 plus 3 6 plus 3 kg if i send it down 6 plus 3 kg so at the end of the day you have acceleration is equal to what you have to now g sine 30 is common so you can bring it down g sine 30 is common and you have 6 minus 3 over 6 plus 3 so g sine, sine 30 is 0 0.5 so that is half so so that is half so half times 10 half times 10 that is 5 bracket because half times 10 is what 5 6 minus 3 that is 3 6 plus 3 that is what 9 so 3 here 1 3 here 3 so my solution is what 5 over 3 meter per second square so if you use your calculator you will get something like uh, uh, one 
0.67 there about I think so we are going to meter per second square so this is our acceleration 5 over 3 or 1.67 meter per second square I haven't found the acceleration we can get our tension our tension of course there is an there is the motion of 6 kilogram along this along this along this um, along this direction that is 6 a there is a motion upward upward for 3 kilogram that is what 3a so for t1 for t1 what we have is that we are going to have since the object is coming down so it will require a what a, a lower tension that means it's going to become 6g sin 30 minus 6a do you get it now so because of why we use minus take note is because the object is coming in this direction therefore it requires less tension to come down so that's how you have a minus so you are going to have t1 equals to 6 times 10 that is what 60 times half minus 6 times 5 over 3 very good so you have t1 equals to 2 year 1 2 year 30 so you have 30 minus 3 year 1 3 year 2 2 times 5 that is 10 30 minus 10 that is what 20 newton so our t1 is 20 newton so let's find our t2 quickly so our t2 now will be because now it's moving upward so it requires a a, a, a a very high tension to move forward so this wire will require a high tension to move so that will be plus that will be 3g sine 30 plus 3a you can see it now so t2 equals to 3 times 10 that is 30 sine 30 is half plus 3 times 5 over 3 so you have t2 equals to 2 year 1 2 year 15 that is 15 plus 3 year 1 3 year 1 15 plus 5 that gives us what 20 newton you can see it's the same thing 20 the reason why you are having same tension is because of is is the same tension that move through a to the to one pulley to the same pulley so therefore our our tension is what 20 newton our t2 is 20 newton then our acceleration is what 5 over 3 meter per second square that's all for now we have solved the 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 question i i do hope you find this uh, video interesting i hope you can subscribe to my channel to get a more physics question to solve like this and you can drop your comment to to, to see whether there's any reaction or those to see whether there's any point we don't understand i will keep you know serving the community let's grow the community share the video to your loved one share it to the to your to your if you are a parent share it to your son if you are if you have a friend who is in school ss1 ss2 a science student this is very essential you can benefit from this channel so have a wonderful day have a, have a, and you know keep studying thank you